This is a video of the standard ram mount for motorcycle handlebar I got from Amazon. I just typed in ram motorcycle handlebar mount and it came up with a link and the price was I think around 25 bucks at the time. It jumps all over the place. Right now the price is 27 bucks plus around four dollars shipping and handling so you can figure it's going to range between 30 and 32 bucks but the picture does not show if you look at the picture and I'll give you the link to the Amazon page that I got this from it only shows these pieces right here these three pieces the u-bolt and the two screws and in the picture this is silver and these are silver and you can't tell although these are actual I don't know if you can see it here yeah the, these are just uh, these are nylon locking nuts black colored and the picture kind of looks like standard nuts but they're actually nylon locking ones and what they don't tell you well the description if you read it carefully it does say that it has these covers to cover the threaded parts but it doesn't tell you they also have this bottom piece that fits into the U shaped clamp part and that's to help protect this is plastic right here this helps protect your handlebars and it also fits halfway decent into this one now these three pieces here they're combinations of aluminum and plastic this is aluminum here this is plastic these balls are a hard type of plastic I think it's a combination of ABS plastic and nylon it's almost got like a rubbery feel to it so that when you actually turn the screw down there it really clamps hard and these things aren't going to move around very much it's important I think for a motorcycle mount that you get this specific type of top mount right here it's got some holes so you can use bigger cameras I just use a simple point and shoot camera but basically you need this extra support this is two and a half inches wide it's a two and a half inch diameter top and that's really important to give your camera the extra support especially with all the bumps and the jiggling around and stuff like that that you're going to have on the motorcycle they make some other ones with this part on top being a diamond shape but this is really what you want you want this one with the quarter 20 threads and I'll also give you the link to ram mount itself I've used these in the past there's really nothing better than a ram mount really in my mind uh, the two names if you want clamps that are affordable but still really good quality would be Pedco and ram mount and I will give you the link to the ram mount website on here and then I will show you just in a second mounted to the bike now when I mounted it as you might be able to see here I put a piece of electric tape under it just to keep it from gouging the chrome on the handlebars and then basically it's just clamping the metal piece in place putting the other piece on top which I will do in just a second and I will get back to you now because of the way it fits I don't really need to use these cap pieces because the threads are not sticking up enough to even worry about but just to show you how sturdy this thing is let me move back a little bit I can actually move the motorcycle by the top of the mount you can see and I mean I don't have this really cinched down super tight I could even tighten it a little bit more but this thing it's not going to go anywhere it's nice and steady you can get them in various sizes you can get some that are this one's four inch you can get ones that are one inch you can get ones that are like a foot long so pretty much any size that will work for you you can find it especially if you go on the website rammount.com and order it piece by piece but I would recommend for your first one getting pretty much a standard one like this for around 32 bucks with shipping the only thing I would have to say uh, bad about this particular place I bought it from and it's not really that bad of a thing unless you're in a hurry is it did take 10 days to arrive that was five days after the order where they shipped it out first class and then it took another five days to come from California so if you need it sooner than that yeah maybe go to another place and pay a little bit more money but if you're not in a real hurry I think that'll work out just fine just as a final note to my video this is the final mounting point I have chosen to use it at the uh, reason I chose this up here is just it was easier to demonstrate and easier to put it on real quick but I moved some stuff out of sight and I figured this was also a flexible mounting site and it also doesn't block my sight any more than the top of the speedometer does so I'm really not going to be in most cases losing any vision and if worse comes to worse you can even tilt it down in different angles so I could even have the camera sitting a little bit lower if I needed to here's an example like I'm talking about you can with the two ball joints on either end you can rotate it to almost what you would call extreme angles and still be able to get your camera pointed the direction that you want to point it for the shot.